Hi everyone here at OutLife, I'm Mrs B and today I'm going to show you how to create a beautiful collage made from homemade paper using your watercolours. So grab your watercolour set, you'll need some scissors and some glue and a couple of extra materials from the kitchen to create an artwork that looks a little bit like this. Some important skills are developed in this task. It's fantastic for young kids, not only with painting skills, but it has to do with tearing and paper manipulation. So a beautiful mountain range is created here, as you can see, and it takes a lot of fine motor skills to create a zigzagged kind of line that is layered to create this mountain range. Please stay tuned and I'll show you how to do this. It won't take long at all, and I hope you enjoy doing this task today. Today for our watercolour collage task, you'll need a palette of watercolours. You'll also need a brush and some water to paint with. And we're gonna do something really interesting using salt today and some cling wrap from the kitchen. And it is a collage, so you'll need some glue and scissors to cut and paste with. Once you gather your materials, let's get started. In the event you need some watercolours or some scissors and glue, please head down to the links below in my description as I offer a discount code for you to purchase some things through me. So for this task, you need about three pieces of paper today. We're going to make some patterned paper and then put the artwork all together by using our collage skills. So what I first suggest is that you choose a bit of a colour scheme. What I mean by that is choose about three or four colours that you like and stick within that colour scheme whenever you're painting each of the pieces of paper. So I might use sort of pinks and purples and a little bit of blue today for my particular design. You can choose whatever colours you like though. So the first thing I'd like you to do is just do a bit of watercolour painting. Get lots of colour on your brush so it's really bright. My watercolours here are very well loved as you can see. I might need a new palette soon. You might notice I'm painting in a fairly scratchy, scrappy kind of way. I'm wanting to work quite quickly because I want to show you what happens when you add salt to your watercolours. So the main thing is just make sure you get all the white gaps like this. We want our artwork to be fairly high density of water. So we're really putting quite a lot of water on our brush. Right to the edges. Cool. All right, that's all I'll do for now. I wanna show you what happens. I'm now gonna crack some salt. on top of my art here. You can just use table salt, you don't need to use rock salt, but we're just gonna let that dry. And a really awesome thing happens when you put salt on top of the watercolor, it creates a bit of an interesting pattern once it dries. So I'll continue on and use my whole paper, paper here. There are two parts to this task. Firstly, we're making the paper and then we'll let it dry and cut it out to create a landscape collage. Now, please note that the water does need to be wet for the salt reaction to happen. If it, you let it dry out, you won't get much of an effect. But we're gonna let that dry somewhere and leave the salt on it to react and we'll have a look at it in a few minutes. All right, I've dirtied this a little bit, but that's not a big deal because we're being abstract today. It's a very similar 
sort of task that we're doing for this paper, instead of using salt to create a reaction, we're going to use cling wrap. I'll show you what I mean. Again, I'm using my three colors in different ways to fill my page completely using a fairly high volume of water. I am working quite quickly because I want my work to stay wet for when I add my cling wrap. So I'll just do half for now. Grab some cling wrap. Now, what I'm going to do is place the cling wrap on top of my water here. Make sure it's still really wet. Now I'm going to scrunch the cling wrap a little bit and leave that to dry. I'll do the other half as well. Remember the aim today is not to make your artwork look exactly like mine. I'd hope that you're just really enjoying this part of the task because it's fun to just be a little bit messy and abstract sometimes. Working quickly will hopefully mean that you're not overthinking it either. There, our second piece of paper, we're gonna let dry along with our salt paper too. All right, for our last piece, this is going to become the background or the paper that everything gets stuck down onto. So we don't need to paint the entire thing. The aim today is that we'll just have a bit of a sky that takes up maybe the top third of the paper. And the rest of the paper will be used by cutting out the salt and cling wrap paper that we've just created. So you actually really only need to paint the very top. This one should be a little bit neater if you can. Try to stick within the color scheme once again. Remember this is the sky, but skies don't have to be blue. I'm gonna sort of make mine look like a bit of a, a nice washy sunset. I'd really love to see if you have had a go at using different colors for this task and see what it looks like. Please feel free to tag me at Art Life Art Lessons on Facebook because it means I get to see the beautiful art that you're doing and I might be able to share it on my page as well. All right, that's probably enough um, for our backing piece. But for now, we just need to let all three pieces of paper dry completely and you can pop away your watercolors. We don't need them anymore, but you will need some scissors and glue. Now that our three pieces of watercolor paper are completely dry, we can scrape off the salt, pop it in the bin, don't eat it. <laughs> and what might be revealed is a bit of a crystallization, as you can see here, and a really interesting texture that the salt creates with the watercolors. So this is going to become the first piece of paper we're going to use to create our collage. The second, can take off the glad wrap and you might be able to reveal a really crinkly kind of texture which almost looks like the peaks and movements of a mountain so we're going to use that one as well but before we do any of that what i'd like you to do is trace around your glue stick and you can actually do this in the corner of your background paper so that you don't waste another piece of paper we're just going to cut a small circle very neatly, of course. I'm going to put the glue on the side that I drew so that we don't see those black marks and pop it at the top of our artwork here. It's going to become the moon or the sun, I guess. Now, to create our collage, we're simply going to tear different peaks or wavy sort of zigzag lines and layer them onto our background piece of paper. I'll show you what I mean. So 
So I'm tearing all the way along and then I'm going to glue the piece of paper onto the background. Now I only need a small amount of it, so I'm gonna cut a straight line and reuse the rest of the paper. Now I'm gonna swap paper and use my salted paper and do the same thing. Now I'm going to repeat this process until my whole A4 page is filled with paper. Just make sure whenever you're gluing a new layer that you don't see the background. For example, I need to make sure that this next layer hides the end of the previous layer. My paper ended up being a little bit longer than an A4 page because I continued on longer and longer down the bottom of my page here, which you might choose to do. I created one, two, three, four, five, six layers of mountain ranges that all look like they've got a snowy sort of peak on the top as well. And it comes together to create a really beautiful handmade paper collage. So it's as simple as that. Today, I really hope that you've developed some painting skills, you've had a go at doing a collage and ripping some paper to create your very own mountain ranges. Please make sure that you follow along with Art Life and check out all the other videos I have on offer for you to develop your art skills at home. Please make sure that you give me a thumbs up if you like this video, as well as subscribe below for future videos. Thanks for visiting and I'll see you next time.